sudden rush of oxygen into the convection grill could cause a flare-up if you're not careful. Your new Bubba Keg allows you to adjust the position of the grill grates to suit your needs. The cast iron grill grate has two positions. In the lower position, the grate can be locked down for traveling or to properly use the upper grill grate. The lower position also enables the grill to accommodate larger dishes like whole turkeys or roasts. For smaller items, you may want to use the higher position. The multi-tool does all the work. Just make sure the tab on the tool fits into the notch on the grill. The chrome-plated grill grate provides an added cooking surface. When using the chrome grate, the cast iron grate must be in the lower locked position. The chrome-plated grill grate can then slide into position and can swing out of the way to access the lower grill grate during cooking. Your Bubba Keg allows you to control cooking temperature by regulating airflow through the dampers. The more open the dampers, the hotter the temperature. You'll quickly get a feel for it as you use your grill. Important note, regardless of how good you get into controlling Bubba Keg's temperature, always use a meat thermometer to take the guesswork out of grilling. For cooking at low temperatures, below 300 degrees Fahrenheit, don't allow the temperature to run up too high when starting the fire. Then set the top and bottom dampers at the one position or lower once the fire is lit. For higher temperatures above 500 degrees Fahrenheit, set the top and bottom dampers at the 5 position once you get the fire lit. When you're ready to shut down your Bubba Keg, close both dampers to put fire completely out. Should you be grilling away from home, make sure the fire is out and the grill is completely cool before you move it or hitch it to your vehicle. And when you're ready to fire up your Bubba Keg the next time, you may still have unused charcoal left. Leave it there. It is still good. And as for the grease left on the grill, hook it off at the beginning of the next use as it will continue to season the grill grate. Your Bubba Keg will give you many years of great service with a minimum of care. The seasoning process will help preserve the integrity of the cast iron grill grate. If at any point you see rust forming, use a steel wire brush to clean the grate and then season it again as described earlier. When the charcoal ashes finally do pile up, remove them into a metal bucket with the multi-tool. Only perform this when the grill is not in use. And keep in mind, ashes are a great source of potassium, phosphorus, and other minerals for your garden. And remember, never put any part of your Bubba Keg in the dishwasher for cleaning. For surface cleanups, water, mild detergent, and a sponge will be just fine. Your Bubba Keg is designed to travel. Make your good times better away from home by using the Bubba Keg receiver bar to attach the grill to the trailer hitch that's already installed on your vehicle. But always remember, never hitch Bubba Keg to your vehicle unless the fire's completely out and it is completely cool. Okay, here's how you do it. First, remove the side trays by pressing the buttons on either side and just lifting them off. Next, using the multi-tool, place the cast iron grate in the lower positions and rotate it clockwise to lock it into place. Now, with nothing else inside the grill, close the lid and lock the latch. Next, close the top and bottom dampers. Then, take the receiver bar and mount it to your vehicle's trailer hitch, like so. Now, over at your Bubba Keg, carefully turn the hitch pin counterclockwise to remove it from the Bubba Keg stand. Hang on to that pin. We'll need it again in a minute. The next step will require you and a buddy because you're going to slide your Bubba Keg off the stand and onto the receiver bar attached to your vehicle. Okay, remember that hitch pin you removed from the stand? It goes right here, in the receiver bar. Make it nice and tight by turning it clockwise. Simple as that. You're ready to roll. Don't forget to take the Bubba Keg stand and trays with you. Important. Never use your Bubba Keg 
when it's attached to your vehicle. When you get to where you're going, you'll take your Bubba Keg off your vehicle and place it back like so. Make sure to secure it with a hitch pin once back in the stand. Now, you need to know how to use your Bubba Keg as a smoker so you can add delicious, smoky flavors like mesquite, hickory, oak, apple, and cherry to your favorite meat or fish. For wood chips, soak them in water for about 30 minutes. For chunks, keep them in the water for about one to two hours. For best results, sprinkle a couple handfuls of the soaked wood chips or chunks over the lit coals. Close the lid and let them begin to smoke for just a few minutes. Place the meat of your choice on the grill immediately and close the lid. Add more soaked chips or chunks to the fire later if necessary. Your Bubba Keg is amazingly versatile. So start exploring all the possibilities. High temperature searing for steaks and chops or maybe oven style roasting. It can handle the slow and low cooking of ribs or briskets and add a smoky sweet flavor to meats. Seafood and veggie grilling? Sure. Cookies taste good? Barbecue them. Really? Your Bubba Keg Convection Grill can do it all. Go to BubbaKeg.com for recipe ideas and download this handy chart that gives you guidelines and good advice for best results with different foods. Also, download this chart of USDA guidelines for safe internal temperatures of different foods. There is no other outdoor cooking machine close to the Bubba Keg Convection Grill. It is the ultimate in quality, versatility, and mobility for the backyard chef who wants to enjoy and serve the best. Don't just barbecue. Barbecue.